Hello ma'am, welcome to our show Thoughts on Education. Dr. Ujwala ma'am, as you have been into this industry since 23 years, so we would like to know more about you as a person. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ujwala Prasudin. I have uh, done my graduation from Nagpur. I did my Masters in Architecture and Conservation from School of Planning and Architecture, New Delhi. Uh, afterwards, I worked with a uh, very eminent architect, uh, Nimish Patel sir, in Jaipur, in Bhuj, uh, in Delhi. I also worked in uh, various other cities uh, with Intact Delhi. Uh, following that, I uh, got selected for uh, a scholarship uh, sponsored by Swedish International Development Authority based on the project that I was working on in conservation. So I uh, went to do my MPhil in, in conservation management in Lunds University, Sweden uh, in 2005. So afterwards, after coming back to India, I worked with uh, renowned architects in Delhi in uh, other countries. So eventually I ended up working in around 16 countries in the field of conservation. Uh, I worked with UNESCO, I worked with ICOMOS, uh, I worked with various other institutions which work towards the heritage of India and across the globe. Um, after uh, completing uh, some uh, work experience of around 15-16 years, I uh, joined academics. So I was uh, part of uh, various institutions. Uh, I also did my PhD in conservation and my PhD is based on uh, this the country called Cambodia. So I work in the heritage uh, properties of Cambodia, the largest temple in the world. Uh, since uh, 2018, I have been associated with Maratwana Mitra Mandal's College of Architecture and I have been handling various responsibilities here as a head of institution. Amazing. So ma'am, as you told that you have been the part of a number of countries with the number of projects. We would like to know more about your experience over here in Maharashtra, that is India, in India and that too in MMCOA. So can you please el el elaborate about MMCOA? So, uh, Maratwada Mitra Mandir College of Architecture established in 1985 by Maratwada Mitra Mandir. Uh, very importantly, this is the first unaided institution of architecture in Pune. So, uh, considering the you know the 37 years legacy of architecture institution, uh, we hold a huge responsibility of contributing towards architectural education and architectural practice. So, uh, considering the scope of architecture, we have been uh, looking at various trends of changing uh, changing scenarios in architecture for all these years and we have been contributing towards various aspects of architectural education because uh, architectural colleges are they play a very important role in imparting knowledge imparting education and training with respect to the changing scenarios in architecture and that is the role of architectural institutions so being the oldest institution in pune we uh, own this responsibility of uh, well, preparing the students, preparing uh, the budding architects so that they become a good professional afterwards. So in last 37 years, we have been into this uh, uh, Nobel profession for uh, for a longer time and also we have been contributing through uh, our alumni who have been uh, worldwide placed. They are contributing towards the architectural profession as well as as, as an institution, we have been doing a lot of activities and a lot of uh, training for the students so that they become good professionals once they pass out from our institute. Amazing. So ma'am, uh, we also would like to know more about vision of your college and your responsibilities towards the MMC. So uh, Maratwada Mitra Mandir is a trust and the mission of the trust is Bhagutan Sehita, welfare of masses. So uh, the whole education that we give to the student is basically to make them sensitize towards the social responsibilities that they are supposed to cater once they become a professional. So towards this vision, we always conduct various activities, the academics, as well as co-curricular and extracurricular activities, uh, which enables them to understand the challenges of the society and eventually they become capable to handle them once they are into profession. So through this, to the, through academics, through co-curricular, extracurricular, uh, through some mandatory activities that we conduct, we always try and give them these values which are important for them. Uh, also, we uh, have various uh, academic activities which make them show, make, which gives them uh, the insights towards the uh, architectural changing scenarios, which enables them with the skills that are required, as well as which gives them certain values which are important and ethics which are part of their personality after uh, they become a professional. So. All this becomes the architectural education at MMCOA. 
Amazing. So ma'am, this year what is new in MMCOA? So um, in, in MMCOA we have uh, ma many verticals. So per firstly uh, we have the academic vertical. In academics we have been completing the syllabus as per the prescription of SPPU. But apart from that we try and conduct the activities which uh, enable students to understand the, uh, uh, the syllabus very well. So that is the first part. Secondly, we conduct activities like study tools, we have uh, site visits, we conduct various workshops, vertical studios wherein all the students come together and work on certain assignments. So all this uh, you know, helps them to become a good team member and team leader and develop certain qualities which are important. In co-curricular activities, we conduct various seminars, workshops. So we have a weekly series called Samwar. So wherein uh, we invite people from different fields who contribute towards architecture. And that gives them a, a, you know, a panoramic view about the field. Uh, in Fountainhead series, we invite world-renowned architects in, the, in college, so they interact with our students. So through this series, they get to know about the changes happening in the field worldwide. Apart from that, uh, the activities which are mandatory, like NSS or any other student development activities, we try and mold them towards architecture so that students uh, work in the prescribed format of NSS or other formalities which are required by the uh, university but again they are oriented towards architecture and they can contribute uh, on field uh, even being a student. Apart from that we also conduct various activities which are um, supporting their personality. So we have a placement cell which enables them to uh, understand the, uh, the market and understand the requirement of the market. So we train them towards that. We have curated certain add-on programs which help them to acquire skills which are not there in syllabus but they are over and above the syllabus but which are mandatory if they uh, enter the market so there are certain add-on programs which happen after colleges and our alumni is a huge support for us uh, so wherein they contribute towards the add-on programs as a resource person we also have certain value-added courses now these value-added courses are um, the courses which give them certain personality enhancement certain skills also certain soft skills which are required. So through these various activities, we make sure that they become a, a responsible citizen as well as responsible architects when, once they are out of the college. Apart from that, we have an institutional consultancy sale. So we have started it recently in the last two years. We have been taking live projects from the field and our faculties work with students towards the completion of this project. So they handle it very professionally as in they are working as a practicing architect and students get to assist teachers for that. And through this they get hands-on experience for the uh, field. Uh, they also have to cater uh, for the practical training. So when students go for the practical training, we also take their feedback. We understand what is the requirement from the hiring uh, agencies and then accordingly we curate these programs. So through this we have been working on various modules and uh, we intend to have more advanced modules this uh, academic year uh, considering uh, the uh, upcoming changes in the technology, considering the upcoming trends in the construction industry. So uh, we are planning to have a conclave which will have academicians as well as the architects and the organizations which are working towards architecture. They can come together and synthesize over the architectural thoughts that are going around in the, in the field of architecture. So, uh, there are a lot of activities that we plan and uh, we have been working on various modules like this which will help our students uh, to become a better professional. Amazing. Ma'am, many last sentence to the youth of this generation? Uh, I feel from my experience, architecture is a field which is a combination of art and science and technology and it needs a lot of interest to become a, uh, you know, become a good architect. And there are so many opportunities that lies uh, in the architecture field. So, uh, starting from a minutest level of the uh, project like a product design to a regional level uh, policies. So students can contribute towards various fields and depending on their interest areas. So I feel this this field is, is a perfect forum for the students who, can, who want to explore themselves, who want to know what they really like and they can they get to work in the field which they really like till the time they want to work. So there is no retirement age in architecture and uh, there is no limit uh, in architecture to work. So I uh, sincerely feel that students should opt for architecture because it gives them opportunity to work in the area which they really like and they don't feel tired at any point in time. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.